what's up guys this is jesse welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a quick Q&A session about second mates courses and second mates exams so recently i did upload a story on my instagram and a community post on my youtube and through that i got a lot of questions regarding second mates exams and second mates courses so i've selected some basic and some most important questions out of them i cannot answer all the questions because there were tons of messages i'll try to answer in my future videos but for now i have taken the questions which are really important and which will really help you guys so without any further delays let's get started so our first question is from kapil singh bhatti and he says what is the best way for bsc guys to prepare so first of all guys you must identify what are your strength subjects and what are your weakness so in my case my strength was like i was good in rr navigation and stability but my weakness was these codes and conventions like mapol solus lsa code so i started with these subjects first and i'll tell you why this is important you need to identify your weakness and you have to start studying the weak subjects first because if you leave the hard subjects till the end you won't be able to give the required time for these subjects that is actually necessary for the preparation so at the end of the preparation period you will start to feel nervous because you will be thinking that i haven't completed these subjects or haven't studied these subjects properly so my view so my advice to you guys will be always start with the hardest subjects first so let's say you are not so familiar with rr or you don't like rr so start with rr because in the starting period of your preparation you have enough time you can give rr few weeks like 10 days to prepare for your rr and once you are very much confident in rr you can move on to some other subjects and my second important advice to you guys will be get yourself added in the whatsapp group of these mmds so let's say you are attempting from kanla mmd so get yourself added in the kanla mmd group because you will receive the questions in that group and once you receive the question set discuss it with your friends the important part is discussion once you discuss it you get a lot of answers from your friends it's not like that you receive the question set you see what are the questions and you prepare it on your own that's not the right way how to prepare for second mates exam because once you do the discussion you get all the answers from all your friends and then you realize that ha huh, you were missing these things you were missing that things and it's it's really important for you to discuss because sometimes in discussions also you will fall into debates or you will not agree to the other person's point of view so you will find out in the books you will you will research you will search it on google and you will find the correct answer so these discussions will help you in two ways so firstly you will get the best and the most appropriate answer for that question and the second one is you won't forget the answers because once you fall in debates or once you try to find that answer yourself you will definitely keep that in your memory for a long period of time so moving on to our second question second question is by rajat saini so he is asking like we have cleared all written exams and two functions and we didn't went in the third function so in the next attempt we have to give only third function or all three functions so this is actually a valid question nobody knows because when when you are cleared you actually get these kind of questions in mind so for both the written and both and the orals once you clear any written or any oral you don't have to give that again so suppose let's say once you're finished with your written and you're going to attempt the orals so there are three orals three functions you must be knowing about that so if in the first attempt you give all the three functions and you pass in only two like you passed in only function 1 and function 3 now the function 2 is left so the next time when you book you will only have to book only function 2 i hope that is clear and he is asking the second question as well so he has two questions second one is and is it up to us that we select date of examination by ourselves or it comes by mmd so this is actually a good question so you can select only the month in which you are appearing for the exam but the actual date will be given by the mmd so it can be given through your email or by the phone call depends upon debate depends and varies upon mmd or mmd moving on to our next question next question is by sahil akram and he is asking ye sab jo seven courses hai we have to retain everything for exams also so basically all these seven courses that you do before attempting your second mains exam you definitely have to retain everything that is taught in these courses so it's very important for you to choose the institutes wisely because once you study it there you will not have to study it again during your preparation of your second mains exam in a thorough manner and that will eventually save a lot of your time 
so my advice to you guys choose the institutes for your courses very wisely don't go for the very cheapest ones because in the very cheapest one you will definitely have not much of classes and not much of you know studies so choose wisely so the next question is from satvik satvik says after completing a trip of 9 months which segment courses can be done so satvik i've actually made a thorough and detailed video about this topic and i will drop a i link here and also i will drop the link of that video at the end of the video so i will also recommend you guys also to watch that video after this one because you will get to know a lot of things that are not covered in this video so moving on to our next question so next question is from gorav gorav is asking completed my dns as well as other courses and i am ready to go on board so what are all the things need that need to be done step by step till i complete my second mains exam so once you have completed all those required things and then you are ready to go on board that is not enough for the second mains exam you have to complete your required c time so for dns guys it's it's 18 months and for the bsc guys it's 12 months and after that you have to do those seven courses that are actually required for second mains so whatever things you have done in the pre c training that is not enough for the second mains and if you want to see how to do step by step i have already mentioned all those steps in my video of how to clear the second mains exam in the first attempt so you can watch that video i have literally covered all those steps that are actually required once you complete your required c time so the next question is from aryan aryan is asking what is the approximate fees for the courses so for all these second mains courses i have actually made a dedicated video for including all the cost and the duration of these courses and you can find the i link here and also i will mention the link of these videos in the description as well as you can find it at the end of this video so make sure you watch those two videos after this one so guys if you have actually watched this video till here so don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment your doubts and whatever things you liked in this video in the comment section because your comments really help me to and really motivate me to make more and more videos for you guys so the more you comment the more my videos i will upload on youtube so our next question is from dinesh johan he asks which mmd to prefer in order to give second mains exam and how to know which one has lenient survey and which hasn't so which mmd to prefer so i would say the mmd which is giving a good passing rate which has a higher passing rate as compared to other mmds so you can know about that from your batchmates who have recently given the oral or from your seniors who have recently passed from these from these mmds or you can check the whatsapp group of these mmds and you can find out the results or you can contact those people who have actually sent the questions in the group and you can contact them like what was the result of your examination and then you can decide like which mmd is actually giving a higher percentage of qualifying your examination in the first attempt or the second attempt and that is how you choose your mmd and secondly always try to make a group of friends and go together to that mmd don't go to any mmd like i'll specifically go to delhi mmd because delhi mmd is close to my home and i'll go there and i'll study on my own so that is not the correct way how to prepare for your exam so choose wisely and go it, go with your friends secondly which one has lenient service so all mmds have lenient and strict service a combination of both so you won't find any mmd <laughs> with all lenient service it actually depends upon your luck like what examiner you are getting on the day of your examination so things that are not in your control don't worry about that worry about the things that you can do so prepare in the best possible way and then hope for the best the next question is from vishal yadav he says hello bia i am going to start my dns course in upcoming batch what are points should i keep in my mind during course plus during my cadetship to clear my second mains in very first attempt so that's a good question and all the best vishal for your upcoming dns batch and i hope you all the best and hope you clear your exams in the very first attempt as well and now on regarding the tips so when you are in a college for this dns course make sure you study these subjects very well rr navigation celestial navigation stability and chart work so these are all the conceptual subjects so if you get all these concepts in your mind clear at the very start of your career you won't have to give a lot of your time after you sign off completing your c time and then you won't have to give a lot of your time 
on these subjects. So definitely it will save a lot of your time during the preparation period. If you focus now, all these three, four subjects that I mentioned during the DNS period. And secondly, during your careership, focus on learning the practical jobs more that are actually required. So your next rank will be third officer. So try to learn all the LSA and FFA maintenance and all the port documents preparation whatever are the actual jobs of the third mate try to learn those and try to do those in your cadetship period so that you get the confidence as well so our next question is from harshit he's asking does the university tells us from where to have your medical or we can go to any dg approved doctor so university or this mmd doesn't tell you like which uh, which doctor to approach to so these are you will find a list of all the dg approved doctors on the website so just type on the google dg approved doctors in india you will find all the doctors and you can search doctors in your state whichever state you are preparing and then you can go to those doctors and get your medical done and that way you can attach that medical and send it in your assessment file for the examination of second mates so moving ahead our next question is from vaishak he's asking three questions so first one is when does the second mates exams conducted so basically these second mates exams are conducted throughout the year in every month so you have to decide like which month you will be giving the exams so so let's say you have opted for april so you will be giving exams in april so if you are able to clear your exams in the very first attempt well and good but if you if you get like two functions or you are left with one function you have to give it in the next attempt so the next booking you can do is leaving one month so you'll have to leave the may and you'll have to book for june so if you are not able to clear in the first attempt you are losing straight away losing two months of your time so april and after that you can straight away give in june so that is how the exams are conducted second thing which is better uk or indian coc so i won't say which is better indian or uk coc but definitely indian coc is much harder to obtain as compared to uk coc so his third question is should we do master in nautical science after bsc and if so what all subjects to take and in which college so definitely vashak i don't know about this question and i won't answer anything that is actually irrelevant to you so if i have the enough information about this i'll definitely address this question in my next video so moving on to our final question by nikhil singh he's asking how dns guys should prepare starting from his 18 month careership so i've actually answered everything regarding this question in my video but just to summarize this i will tell you few things like once you go on board make a list of all the jobs of third officer and try to complete and complete those jobs like lsa ff maintenance try to list all those things in lsa all those things in ffa how to do the maintenance of them what are the monthly checks what are the weekly checks what are the annual checks how to refer to them which manual to refer where to see all these things just try to learn everything and how to actually do that job because theoretically you have actually learned in your college it's now about the practical things and the practical knowledge will actually help you once you become an officer so these were all the tips and advices that i could give to you so that you can have a better and a more time efficient and cost effective second mates preparation period and if you really like the video then make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure you comment because your comment actually gives me a lot of motivation to make more and more videos so thanks for watching guys see you in the next one